Hi everybody, Prepper Dell here. Welcome to my channel. Today I just wanted to talk to you about the Mora Bushcraft Orange Survival Knife. It's a great knife this. Retails for between 50 and 60 pounds. I'll put a link below. Um, so let's crack on with it. I love the high business of it. It's a survival so it's non-tactical which I love. Um, I've got knives for different occasions and for survival it should be high vis. As you can see we can see it in the snow really really well. It stands out which is uh, a good feature about it. Let's take a look at the sheath to start with. It's got a built in diamond sharpener just to keep the edge on it. It's got a clasp there to hold the ferro rod. Really good idea. And it's also got the frog attachment to the sheath. The good thing about these Swedish um, sheaths is they come with the buttonhole design there. So that's designed to clip onto your button of your smock or onto your hunting trousers and things like that. So it's even more secure. So that's the sheath there. The knife itself, it's got an orange polyamide handle. It's 3.2 mils thick. The blade length is 10.7 centimeters. The overall length is 23 and a half centimeters. It's got a ridge grand spine. Basically that means you can work it with ferro rods. It's a stainless steel, Swedish stainless steel blade. What I like about this is a lot of stainless steel blades are actually rounded so you can't work with them with a ferro. Whereas this you can. Um, it's a more, what more can you say? They're extremely good and extremely versatile and budget friendly. I like the handle, it grips really well. Let's have a wee demo of that look. We'll wrap that in snow and ice. Rub it all over. You can see it, you can still hold it firmly. Not going anywhere. The good thing about the Moras is they're always razor sharp. I love this and I think it's a great bit of kit to have. They come razor sharp as they are, so we can do nice feather curls, we can do nice big chunky ones, or we can do little tiny ones. That's just some of the subtle differences there. Great for feathering, great for chopping, great for cutting. We'll cut anything. You can control it really well. Nice thick cut. See through that one, look. Gordon Ramsay himself would please that. So yeah, controls really nice on the cut as well. So let's check out the ferro rod. They call this uh, all weather fire steel. Most fire steels are all weather to be honest with you. I think they could have thought about this a wee bit more and made this orange as well. I'd like to have seen that. So let's get a wee bit of the front foot wood going. It's been uh, exceptionally cold and exceptional weather here the past week so I'm just going to use a wax ball and some fat wood see if we can get this lit up nicely see how good the ferro rod is I like lots of different types of ferro rods so it'll be interesting to see how this one goes we'll just get that wrapped in snow get nice and cool give it a shake that's been lying on the floor just now, still fine. So, so there you have it. The Mora Bushcraft Orange. I really like it. It's a great survival knife. I'm a huge fan of survival stuff being high vis. Personally, I'd advise you guys go out and buy it, go out and check it out. It's an absolute cracking knife. I'm a huge fan of that. That's a Mora Bushcraft Orange Survival Knife. I'll put a link to where you can buy it down below. It's freezing now, you can tell. <laughs> um, so, a little fire there. Warm us all up. But, thanks for watching everybody. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Um, I always tag Joe from Prepper in the Woods on all my channels. Go check out his channel. He's got great content and he's a good friend. So, thanks for watching everybody. Stay safe. Stay warm in this weather. Um, I know it's cold everywhere just now, but it'll soon be spring.
Prepadel out.